In this question, I'm asked to provide the major organic products for this reaction. So the first thing I notice about this molecule is we have a tosyl group. And you should know that tosyl groups are very good leaving groups. And um, they're something that are almost always presented in an OCHEM 1 class. And they're something you should definitely be familiar with. So we have this tosyl group um, attached to a secondary carbon. And we also have sodium iodide. So we're going to have the iodide ion as a nucleophile. And we know that iodide is a very good nucleophile. And it is a weak base. So because it's a weak base, we know that we can, we already know the reaction is not going to be an E2 reaction. Because for an E2 reaction to take place, we need a strong base. So at this point, given the information we have, the reaction can go either SN2 or SN1, but what's going to decide for this reaction is the solvent. And acetonitrile is an aprotic solvent, and aprotic solvents favor SN2 reactions. So that's what we're going to have here, SN2 reaction. So what we're going to have is the iodide ion is going to do a backside attack and kick off the tosyl group and in doing so it's going to cause a stereochemical inversion of uh, this stereo center. So when we draw the uh, final product we have to take that into account. So as it is a substitution reaction we can start by drawing the product by just drawing the uh, iodide atom in the place of the tosyl group and we can draw this and the easiest way to account for the change in stereochemistry is to just switch these two um, substituents. So where we had a proton before, we're now going to have a methyl group. And where we had a methyl group before, now we're going to have a proton. And that is the major product for this reaction.